the arrests that take place under the PTA and how that affects protesting within a country and whether that can in any way be allowed in any yeah. circumstance how what are your thoughts on that now my personal view any protester should not be charged under prevention of terrorism temporary provision act right. so this is 1979 act number 48 but it was amended 2022 Now the protesters are actually coming up with anti slogans against the government. Yeah. So without any proper evidence, proper investigations, investigations are going on. But it may be not for the protest, maybe for some type of damaging the uh, public property yeah. uh, and whether there was a uh, illegal coup to overthrow the government. Likewise, we have to see both sides. Yeah. So if you have strong evidence only you can go against that. But now but now the prime minister is saying they are not going to charge. That means protesters basic government policy should not be uh, charged under this. Uh, sorry to interrupt you there doctor if you can explain to us the provisions are there in place to arrest so that there can be a collection of evidence. Is yeah. that something that's allowed? Yeah. Now that now that see be? the definition of terrorism. Yeah. What do you mean by terrorism? still we have 1979 act number 48 which was fully basic major changes came in 2022 so under terrorism illegally unauthorizedly uh, a democratically or a established government if you try to overthrow and killing and forcibly entrance to a place and take them as a hostage yeah. and killing police army navy damaging them and likewise robberies not only that financing terrorist also one type of offense so there is there is a set of offenses given so it should be come under terrorism yeah. but 2021 switzerland uh, terrorism anti terrorism act it's a war yeah. broader definition given and it is their political activities also they can arrest in certain cases but in sri lanka if you are going to arrest uh, terrorist now this is very famous no in the elam uh, when they try to come up with the ltd terrorist period we know how they bomb and how they kill these are all terrorist activities so even uh, sometimes they can plant he's a terrorist this is the biggest issue so political opponents like mr vijay kumar kunga he was arrested next like movement was there, but no evidence right. so a government should not use this to you know against democratically peacefully if they are going in a protest now the major issue in this terrorism prevention of terrorism act arrest detention and the confession these are three major areas where we have to see now under the normal law if a uh, present penal code and the uh, criminal procedure code a person can be kept 24 hours thereafter if you have finished the investigation or not you have to produce before a magistrate and certain offenses you can take 48 hours but under the prevention of terrorism act if a suspect arrested you can keep 72 hours this is the major issue but if you see year 2006 in united kingdom anti terrorism act they will keep only lesser hours than that and after questioning the do can be given by the minister of defense the secretary can right. so that do goes to 90 days right. that 90 days that suspect may be kept in a detention center or a police station or any other place uh, prescribed by that and he can be questioned and this can be extend to uh, you know 18 months also that is under 1970 but under 2022 there are significant changes came up even most of the countries even human rights council like uh, they they actually they were really like that so 2022 what happened the amendments you can be kept a suspect maximum one year. and also when a suspect arrested within 48 hours the closest magistrate court you have to inform. and the magistrate can visit and you know question and ask certain information and not only uh, magistrate 
within 48 hours you have to inform Sri Lanka Human Rights Commission and the Commission can send officers to go and investigate. So that proceed is there. Why? To stop torture, inhuman, degrading punishments. Okay. So likewise, if the suspect saying to the magistrate to change the place, the magistrate can give order. Okay. That is a great thing. And also JMO, once again if still, it's a duty of the magistrate. Monthly you have to go and visit. But I mean not monthly, at least if you can time to time visit most of these fundamental right uh, violations may be actually or no fundamental right violations. So a lawyer can be accessed and also the family members they can access them. But earlier those things were not there. The only thing I don't like even the 2022 amendment which is where a confession if the suspect give a confession to a police officer about the rank, ASP or about the rank, it can be admitted against him. Right. So that is actually not really independent one, but that has to be changed. Okay. And also when you compare other countries, you can just, uh, you know, not to detain 90 days, 14 days, with the judicial scrutiny, you can extend that period. So certain amendments still needed. That's why we are talking about a new National Security Act. So I call Anti-Terrorism Act, Prevention of Terrorism Act, or National Security Act, or a Patriotic Act. All these things are like there the to protect a country, yes, against terrorism. You can't say what time a terrorism will come up. Now in Chennai police and India, they have said once again LTD uh, suspects or uh, LTD, you know, cadres, they are regrouping once again. If suddenly if that is coming. In 2005, the London riots came up. So then people said, no, keep them 90 days, 90 days and question them. So these are some of the issues, right? So arrest, detention, investigation, questioning and confession, you have to see properly whether their fundamental rights are violated.